Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, friends. Uh, today is a very special day. Uh, it's a day that the Lord has made, and I have made it my goal to come and pray for this country, pray for the United States. Uh, just before election, the Lord uh, kept showing me that there are turbulences on the way, and we want to do everything we can to contribute to our great, great nation. Uh, of course, I am wearing my MAGA hat. Ah, uh, yes, I am a conservative. Uh, I come from a country where I have seen a genocide. I come a country where I have seen many people have seen many people dying. I have seen so many deaths, and uh, I do not think that death is something that we want to promote. So I speak up for the babies in the womb. I am a great, great pro-life, um, and uh, I do believe in the sanctity of life. I have my own testimony. I committed abortion way, way, way back before I came to know Christ. And uh, I had the privilege to meet and to talk to my daughter who is right now in heaven. The Lord has allowed me to have a great, great conversation. Uh, we've had a deep conversation and it's a, a subject for another time, but I want you to know that the babies in the womb, they have a life. When I committed abortion, I had a conversation with my baby. Now she's a wonderful, beautiful young lady in heaven. Uh, she's a king's daughter, very smart, very beautiful. Her hair goes all the way here, beautiful. And she has forgiven me and she loves me. We have a great relationship. But I want you to know that when people commit abortion, the babies in the womb, they feel everything. And with all their strength, they fight. They fight, folks, for their lives. And uh, they feel everything. They, she told me exactly what I did, what happened, even the tools they used. And so I want you to know there is a life for the babies in the womb, and we should do everything we can to protect them. Just in the same way, we fight for, I'm fighting for my country, Rwanda, I'm fighting for people to have a life, to not be killed. So I do the same for the babies in the womb, even especially because they have no voice. They have no voice and no strength to physically fight for themselves. Uh, but anyways, that's a subject for another day. But I am here to pray for America. Would you please join me as we pray? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, we know, Lord, that this is a crucial time and the prayers of everyone, and this hour, and this minute, and this time for the United States of America is very important. United States of America is a country, God, that you created, that you made, that it be a special country where your name is exalted. That's why on our beard we have, in God we trust. United States of America is a country where God is in the foundation. A country funded by many people who are being persecuted from all over for their belief, for their freedom of speech, religion, and assembly. But God, you decided that would be your country. 
And so right now we lift up United States before God. We know that United States is not perfect. Because even that which belongs to you, O oh God, the enemy always claim it. And the enemy always want what you, the creator, have created. And so here today, we stand in this great nation, but we see the power of darkness working so strong. Praise God. Praise God. So in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we lift up this great nation before you, reminding you, God, of your goodness, of your grace, of your mercy. We do not deserve so much favor because this nation has gone against you. That's why our prayer today will just be uh, the extension of the return where we pray repenting for that we stand in the gap. Me and all the people who are watching, we say, Lord, forgive United States. Even though that we have great, great people, there are also people who are working for the devil and they have introduced the bills, the lawful ways to commit genocide and the Holocaust against the unborn. That's a grave sin, God, and I ask you that you accept our repentance. Repentance for killing babies in the womb. Repentance for enacting laws that go against your word. We have killed millions of babies and we did not deserve your favor. So today we are coming before you, God, asking for mercy. Even though there are many people who stand for the right for pro-choice, Lord, you know that there are those people who are not for that. And on behalf of those people, Lord, I come and I say, Lord, keep your eyes upon the good. Keep your eyes and your heart remembering that there are also great, great people who stand for life. I ask you, Lord, Father God, to turn your back from our sin and look upon us through the blood of Jesus. I pray right now that you forgive the United States of America and you cause her to repent. Because even though this is a great, great nation, there are many things United States have done that are wrong. And as somebody from Africa, from uh, um, you know, a small country somewhere in Africa where the genocide I saw and I see how today United States of America have stood with dictators and supported them in a ways while we are a nation that stands for democracy, a nation that stands for freedom, yet we have gone and backed many dictators uh, all over the world. I am reminded of Vietnam. I am reminded of Rwanda, where to this day, our government is ally and supporting the government of Rwanda. Uh, and the Lord, you have shown me that's why bad things happen here. Even though the intent of the real United States of America is good to promote freedom and democracy, but we have also done things to provoke you to anger. We have done nothing when the genocide was happening in Rwanda. And right now, we have not done anything to condemn anything that the government of Rwanda 
has been doing against your people and because of that millions have died and we have supported those governments and it shows there is a curse of a United States of America. If you are watching, don't be mad at me. If you are a Christian, if you are a believer, if you love the United States of America, I want you to ask God to show you what curses are on this nation and together we are going to repent and God will remove and I believe God is going to use the Trump to break those curses because the Trump says because God has given him a discernment this is not about whether you like him or not but he's a man God puts there to end unrighteousness to end the satanic rule in this country so right now we are going to pray hallelujah hallelujah we're gonna raise the volume we're gonna repent and we're gonna ask god to break the curses father in the name of jesus we have sinned we have done what is wrong by promoting or backing the righteousness knowingly and unknowingly through the lobbyists there are many bad things that have been done in this nation. There are too many to count. Our sins are so many like the sand and the seashore. And I ask you, Lord, hallelujah, that you remember that the blood of Jesus is enough. That you forgive or USA sins. And help you from today forward to do what is right. Hallelujah. As we pray, God is receiving your prayer. And God is breaking curses. Hallelujah. Over this country. We're going to pray strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remove the darkness, God. Remove the hidden agenda from the pit of hell over this nation. My indrebrocosonalabrekete boko. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. From shore to shore, east, west, south to north, God. We ask you, Bakashendle Merobrocosa that you make this nation your own, fully your own. This is not about political party, but this is about good and evil. Lord, you know where evil is hiding. And we are asking you, do not let evil get by. Do not let evil rule over us wherever evil is hiding regardless of the affiliation of political party i ask you jesus that you expose it to the roots any evil in the democrat expose it to god any evil in the republican god expose it so my friend we are praying right now for exposure Father, let everything that is hidden be exposed. Let every evil be exposed to the roots so that you may remove it, so that you may deal with it. Almighty God, he has begun to expose evil. He will expose more. But many are blind. We are in the age of the great deception where there are many people who are calling evil good, who are calling good evil. The blind person cannot see. So Lord, we ask you throughout this nation 
that you begin to remove the blinders of our people's eyes. That people see the truth and they love the truth and they run to the truth. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the lie. Maya ya ya le mele marandre brokos le malandre mele brokos andre meroko Aya ya 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 bokos andre brababa expose evil in our congress expose any evil of god anywhere in the politicians god hallelujah hallelujah i see the love of god over this nation and i see that the lord is dispatching his angels in every corner of political buildings. Hosh in the deception is so deep. But God says, we will do it. We will do it. We will get to the roots. And we will uproot everything that has not been planted by my father. Hallelujah. We pray for turbulences. Over this nation, the Lord showed me this Friday morning. He showed me riots taking place out of the United States of America in the neighborhoods, in the downtown, and those are the things ahead of us. But God, we pray because prayer changes everything. The Lord says that if people were to repent and turn back to Him, he will change everything. He will reverse every curse. He will stop the riots. So Lord, we pray that you hit us, everyone in this country, that you hit us with the spirit of repentance. Let everybody see. Let everybody fall on their knees and give glory to God. And give glory to God and give glory to God because he is worthy. Hallelujah. We embrace repentance. We embrace love and humility. Really love. Oh dear God, remember us. Remember us. Remember the good people. Remember the great warriors in this nation. And on the count of those few people who are seeking you, who are crying out, saying, we want the truth to win. We want the light to win. Lord, on the count of those people, please come and display your great, great power. As I close, I want to pray for President Trump. Somebody says, why would you pray for President Trump? There are many things that... People don't understand. There is a lot of misunderstanding over President Trump, but God has opened my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God loves Trump, and God has given him a favor, and he will give him more favor, more than any other presidents. That's why he has given him so far the privilege to appoint three supreme courts. And this is not the end. I do believe God will give him more privilege to appoint more. So when God loves somebody, when he likes him, I follow. Regardless of how I feel about those people, because I know God is just. I believe God knows what we do in our own bedroom, in our private life. And so I'm sure God has looked upon what Trump does behind the scene and he likes him. Besides, the Bible says to pray for the leaders. So Lord, we pray for Trump to be guided, to be led by your spirit, to acquire more and more discernment God to do your will hallelujah to be used to correct the wrong in this nation and not only here but also to be used all over the world 
all over the world. I am convinced that Trump will be used to remove corruption, to drain the swamp, to bring forth justice. He has many enemies that many people who don't like him. Lord, help them. Maybe they can see why you see. Why do you like him? Help them to see. And remove hatred from the people's heart. Remove hatred from our hearts. So we bless Trump and we pray for his family and we pray for his staff that they do the will of God, that they do what you have called them to do, and that they do it with all their hearts, and that they be used, God, to put a smile on your face. We pray for a peaceful election. I don't see that happening yet, but Lord, we pray for it, and we thank you because you hear our prayer. I lift up every one of you who is watching me, hallelujah. This is not about political party. This is about praying for our nation. And I ask God to touch you. If you need healing in your body, I release the power of God into you. If you have pain anywhere in your body, the gift of healing works in our ministry. Just stretch your hands towards me. I rebuke every pain in your body. I bind the spirit of infirmity and I command every disease to leave you, to leave you, to leave you from head to toes, to leave you. And it does you know that there is a God who still do miracle signs and wonder. Give him the glory. There are many who are watching who are being healed. There are many who will watch later, who will be healed. May God bless you. May God grant you abundant life. And I pray for discernment that God, everyone who watch this show, they will get discernment that they will see. In this age of great deception, that people will see. People will not look at themselves or their own problem, but they will look up, look up, look up to God, and they will never be the same. May God bless you until we meet again. Stand strong. Stand in the truth. Do not give up. I hear the Holy Spirit say, my children, my dear, dear, beloved children, I am the rock. I am the great and mighty God. Hallelujah. He says, stand upon the rock in the storms ahead. You will not be moved. I hear the Lord says, Yes, turbulences are coming. I am coming to shake the heavens and the earth. And this hour, run to me, my children. Run. The door is open for you to run under the shadow of my wings. That's the only place where it's going to be safe in the days ahead. Those who are not standing upon the rock in the days ahead. There is nowhere else to go. So stand up. Be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand in the truth. Live under the shadow of the Almighty God. I love you until we meet again. Remember to smile and to be happy. God bless you.